Hey guys, today I'm playing some more City Skylines, and it's been a while because I've been away for almost a couple of weeks. Uh, so yeah, all the ones you saw were recorded pretty much all in three days, which may be why I sounded tired in some of them. But yes, what were we doing? I don't remember. So, <laughs> yeah, let's just start. Uh, keep. I've got ore industry going on over there. I really want to push for that because it's good to have ore industry, like raw material industry, uh, because it requires various skill levels of jobs. Which is very useful to me, um, because uh, because then educated people, uneducated people, highly educated, they all got jobs there, you know. How many people are coming into my city? Oh, they're leaving. A hundred people are leaving. It says landing, but I think that's a lie. You're the worst pilot ever if that's what you think landing looks like. I mean, <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right. <clears throat> Okay, I'm just gonna run time forward. Can we get any cool monuments yet? No. Uh, construct a business park. Yeah, I want to construct a business park, but I need more commercial zone. Cause fuck the world. Oh my god, one, one away! Oh my god! Oh, we're almost got the commercial. We've almost got the business park. We're one square meter away from it. Um. All right, fuckers. Just a little more, a few more shops. Build them. Now I should be able to have it, right? You fa fuck you. Oh, good. Where shall I put the business? Wow, that's cool. I like that. It's a no that's a nice business pack. Might put it here, near the business, really. Would be a good distribution. Maybe here would make people feel better. Because this is where all the bu this is where the business really takes place, on this tiny island. Um... Nah, I kind of want it over here, near the river. It'll be nice, you know? Quaint. Yeah, near the space elevator. Is that a nice place to have it? I think it is. You go overlook a bridge. Maybe don't look at overlook a bridge. Maybe have it here. You know, a little way down, overlooking the ocean. Yeah, that's, that's nice. Does it need power? Hopefully not, because it's... Oh, I guess the lights will. You whore. Um... Oh, actually, if you need water, what for? It's an arch. Jesus. Alright. Tell me that's in the right place. If it's not, then fuck you. And water, of course. Because I guess maybe they have a water fountain. Maybe a real fountain. Maybe they have a public bathroom. Something like that, you know. Um, it's not really a bathroom. Why do I always say public bathroom? It's public toilet. Because whenever I... Like asking where a public toilet is, I'm like, no, where's the uh, where's the where's the bathroom? And that implies there's a bath in that room, which there isn't, yeah. But yeah, business park, business. Looks nice. Yeah, it looks like you can go under it. There's probably bathrooms in there. All right, well, toilets, I guess, <laughs> as we've covered. <sighs> and eventually they'll be stopped near it. All right, monument, please. What do I need now? Construct official park. I'd say that's a pretty fucking official park. You're an asshole. Grand Library. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna get another one of these. Um, unless it's really hard, then fuck that. <laughs> Ma'am. Is that like the, um, fuck, what's the one in London called? The, uh... Ah, what is it called? The, the Modern Art Museum in London. It's the... Ah, Christ. I don't know. But whatever. But yeah, there's this... Uh, I've totally forgotten what it's called. That's really annoying. Posh Mall. I want a fucking official park. Oh, I need office zone. Fuck you. Alright, we'll work on that. What about this? Fusion? That'd be good. Construct observatory. Oh, I can't. <laughs> Construct courthouse? Alright, I could probably do that. Hadron Collider, Colossal Order Offices is what I need for that. I think that's probably, I don't know, Colossal Order Offices, Service Office Buildings, Observatory, Oppression Office, nice, Grand Library, uh, Office Park, Courthouse, Colossal Order, Weekly Education Expenses 20 grand. Fuck you, these are all really hard. Medical center, construct courthouse. Oh, that's. What do I need for a courthouse? Why do you hate me when I show you? Crime rate over 50. These are so hard to get. They like destroy your city. You've got to really want them. 
I do, because I've got to name the episode something. <laughs> That's totally not the reason. I shouldn't have got them all last episode, really. I should spread them out so I had a bunch of episode names. <laughs> uh, it'll be fine. Oh, fuck you. Oh, I keep trying to control Z. I don't know why, because that's how you undo things, game. God, read a book. Okay. Uh, oh, this is actually the last video I will be recording. I will be recording in the room I am currently in, because I am leaving Hall in a couple of days. Um, unless I decide to record something tomorrow, but I doubt I will. So yeah, yeah, I'm in student halls. I'm leaving in a couple of days, so this is the last. Uh, that's video in this room. Oh my god! I'll be home for the summer, which is always depressing because I live in a tiny town and I have to come away from London. And it's like, oh, yes, I remember why I left. <laughs> uh, no, it properly is. Like, you, you, I'm sure most people have a bit of, uh, ugh, hometown. Um, god, last time I drove back, well, I didn't drive, I was being driven back there because I don't drive because. I live in London, um, and it, it was just the second I got into it, I was like, oh my god, I forgot how much I hate this place. <laughs> so yeah, my summer's going to be great. <laughs> uh, I should be drunk the whole time. Alright, that's the plan. It'll make the town suck less. It does have one of the highest densities of, ooh, that's actually quite find outable, I'm not going to say that. <laughs> oh, and you know where I live, you crazies. Um, well, I think most of my viewers come from California, so they'd have to be really committed to coming and, you know, hopefully just being like, hey, and not, you know, some of the awful things that have happened recently. Um, we don't want to talk about them. We want to be happy. <laughs> we want to deny what happened. Not, oh, okay, that sounds... Not deny what happened, just, you know, think about it, you know. This is just to build the city. Everything's fine. Get out of my house. Um... Uh, all of these are so hard to get. Okay, what about these? I wanna, I wanna fucking drive. I fuck you. Casino. Ah, okay. I will work on them slowly. Okay, where's my? Oh, this is tourism, right? Wait, is this tourism or what? I don't fucking know. It doesn't say. Is it high tech housing? I don't fucking know what this is. Well, we're gonna make it. Yeah, I thought I made it like leisure. Cause this is hotels. Cause it's next to the big hotel. This is leisure, and this make this leisure as well. I want a big leisure place. All right, and we need more shops. Uh, I guess these can be shops. Just a massive shopping district. But hey, this is a big shopping district. It's in um. Cities. Oh, you know what a game I've been playing recently? GTA 4. A lot of people hate that game. Or at least they think it's one of the worst GTAs. I really like it. Like, I get that San Andreas was unbelievably detailed for a PS2 game. And I think that is probably for the time it came out. Because, of you know, graphics. If you play it now, it is a bit hard to play. But probably one of the most amazing games ever made. And then obviously GTA 5 was amazing. But GTA 4 feels a little less... Ultra gamey, because GTA 5 is ultra gamey, you know, it's easy, it's like, a lot of it's like easier to kill people, and it, it feels more like a game. Um, but I, I like GTA 4 just because it's, well firstly, it has an amazing story. Um, I've heard people say they don't like Nico Bellop, who is one of the best protagonists of any video game ever. I mean, he's just... Yeah, I heard Nick keep saying he didn't like him, and I was like, well, fuck you, Nick. <laughs> oh, but I did watch his GTA V um, oh, his contest with, what's his name, one of the people who works for Nerd Cube Corp, um, where they try and make like loads of money yeah, in like tw two hours online, but he loses like $36 million. But yeah, oh, talking to GTA V, there's going to be a lot of GTA talk right now, because everything's amazing. Um, Rockstar is just, just the perfect people. Anyway, yeah, I, I actually got a job in GTA 4, GTA 5, I like, got a, lit a legit job, I'm working for a guy now, you know, stealing shit, because they've added that thing where you um, can like create companies that buy and sell illegal things, and like, 
Uh, yeah, I, I only have like uh, 200 grand on there, saving up for a plane, um, and potentially one of those offices, because cool. And uh, <laughs> so this guy like invites me to do his job, we could join his crew, because you know, most people don't have like a huge amount of people who play GTA 5 with them. Um, although maybe we should get some people together from this channel and have the Tape Corporation. Tape Corp. The Territorial Arctic Protection Order. That'd be baller. We, may, we should do that. God, I'm all over the place. It sounds like one of Trump's speeches. Um, also, maybe a video on uh, Donald Trump's Surgeon Simulator coming out. Just because it's dumb. Because it's like... <laughs> why? It's like not like politically scathing. It's, I guess it's just funny to operate on him, really. And his hair does stay on. Um, you can get achievement for trying to pull it off. Uh, but anyway, uh, so I have a job now in GTA 5. Like, it's quite arduous. I, I had to spend like two hours last night helping this guy and I made like 20 grand. But the pay goes up, so that's good. Um, but yeah, and <laughs> we got back to his uh, to his office after our first one. And there's like the whiskey bits around. You know when you drink whiskey in GTA, you slowly get drunk and you're falling around. And I thought it would go quite quickly, but it doesn't. And then I had to go snipe a bunch of guys. Well, just hammered, so I couldn't see where my thing was pointing. And, oh, God. It was so stressful. I don't think... I don't think I like games. They all just seem to be work now. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, I think I was saying something about GTA 4 and how it's probably my favourite. Just because it seems like... Like, it's much harder to kill people. Like, in a fist fight in GTA 5, you can just run up to someone, punch them in the back of the head, and they're dead. Um, but in GTA 4, you, get, you can sort of do that if you're smart. Um, but you kind of have to, like, really fight. You have to be, like, jabbing and hitting and kicking and maybe pull out a knife. And multiple people will attack you at the same time. Um, so it can be quite hard and you can die. Whereas in GTA 5 it's like, eh. And shooting people in GTA 5, it's probably more realistic. But, like, it's a lot harder to kill someone in GTA 4, basically. Like, it's... It's a task, you know? It's, you've really got to want to. Um, but yeah, and oh, and you can like, and there's lots of little things like you can pick up bricks and throw them at people, and like you can knock a phone out of someone's hand and throw that at them. You can disarm people. You can beat someone up until they're unconscious. Wait for them to wake up again, and then beat them up again. That's pretty good. Uh, <laughs> well, there's so much good stuff. You can go to all the burger restaurants. I know you can't rob like convenience stores, which kind of sucks, but yeah. And oh, it's just such a good game. And online on GTA 4. I do prefer 5 because it is quite detailed, but GTA 4 online was that was some those were some those were some good days, you know? Like where you'd just be like 30 people just sh all shooting each other and jumping in helicopters and getting the tanks. And oh my god, the story DLC! I know this is pretty much just City Skylines me talking about GTA 5, but I don't really have anything else to talk about because I'm just slowly expanding zones. Um but yeah, oh my god, the freaking story DLC. The Lost and Damned was so good. Like that biker one, it's it's amazing. And Battle of the Gay Tony, that added so much cool stuff. And the online for that was even fucking better. Seriously, just, oh. A lot of people rag on GTA, 5, uh, GTA 4, but nah, it was, it was, it was great. He is great. And I also found a plugin that removes games for Windows Live. And that's not like fuckery and shitty, it's um, because they you literally can't they've added new stuff, I'll get to that <coughs> um, that's not like fuckery and like, oh you're fucking with games, although I think I should be able to it's on my computer, but like it doesn't support Windows 10, and now I don't have all that bullshit, anyway so, the wonderful people at people who watch tape gaming um, told me uh, that if you press the plus key, you can make the fucking brush work Fucking tree brush, bitches! I finally have a tree brush. Trees, 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 trees. Nice. <laughs> All right, now we can finally tackle this pollution. Just shit tons of trees, just all over the place. Just fucking loads. Yeah, I can't see because of the pollution, but that's a lot of trees. Tree brush. Thanks, whoever commented that. You are just. A wonderful human. Anyway, I've just noticed there's some new parks. Wait, is that new? Nah, it's a riding stable. They already have that. Skate park. Pff, that's just where you go to sell drugs, really. Bouncy castle? Surely that's quite a small thing, really. That's a bit weird, just to have one by itself. That seems like 
something a pedophile would do. But a botanical garden? Cool. Where are we going to put this? I don't know. I don't know, Peter. Where are we going to put I think we should put it on the nice island. And we're going to buy a bunch more, obviously, because freaking botanical gardens as well. We need to kill them. I did go to a botanical garden once in Sri Lanka when I went back there, uh, which was... Yeah, I went back there when I was 10. I probably mentioned multiple times that I lived there when I was young because parents were working and shit. Uh, so that was that was fun. And we went back and we went to the botanical garden. So I know what a botanical garden is. It's a really big garden where people try and sell you shit. Actually, I don't think that happened. No, that was just racism. Um, <laughs> yeah, a little bit. All right, and dog park. I mean, if that isn't the perfect thing for my suburbs, I don't know what it is. Also, there's no parks in it because I'm a bad person. There we go. Also, I don't know if you watched uh, KSP Space Race, uh, mine and Penguin series. Um, that, of course, Penguin came him up with because he is obsessed with making uh, KSP multiplayer. <laughs> Except not with dark multiplayer. You're not doing very well at flying. Oh, okay. How many people are coming in? Two hundies! A lot of people. Uh, but anyway, uh, so after Space Race, me and Penguin are thinking of doing a pre... Um, like almost like a prequel to uh, Collaborative Warfare where we take a smaller part of Kerbin and insert a few bases into Kerbin side if that's relatively easy and if it's not, Harpooner will do it because um, he knows how to mod things. Although I'm sure he'll can figure it out. You'd hope after a year of computer science. Um, but yeah, so anyway, and that'll be like World War II-y shit and it's, oh, we selected the land today. I am so hyped for that. Just Penguin really just win Space Race please. Um, also, Space Race will be a while, because again, I'm moving, and Space Race usually takes me, like, most of the better part of a day to record. Because um, uh, I always have to design some insane SSTO, and that always takes a while. Alright, we need more shops. I really need to plan this city better. It's just, I don't know where I want to put the shops. Maybe I think about these things too much. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Alright, we want more trees as well, because now I have a fucking tree brush. Whoa, whoa, what's this? Basketball court, fucking awesome. Yeah, just goof off work, go play basketball. You're fucking over here, just go play basketball. You're fucking in the suburbs. Well, I guess not fucking, in, just in the fucking stuff. Like, you might be fucking in the suburbs, get a little bit like... Kind of bored now. Yeah, you wanna go play basketball? Yeah. Said <laughs> no one ever. Anyway, um, yeah, basketball court. Anyway, yeah, World War Two collaborative warfare, baller as fuck. And yeah, let's put in some creepy fucking random bouncy castles. That's not a persistent thing. Just surround it with a bunch of like fucked up shit. Yeah, come on, my bouncy castle, kids. It's always here. It's like okay, man in aviator glasses. Oh no, it's a little park. It moves too much. Oh, I am at three times speed. What is happening? It's still moving too much. What is in there? There's no kids in there yet. I'm going nuts. Well, I'm very weirded out by that. I'm very unhappy about this. Might also put a carousel in. Cause oh, it's a it's a bouncy castle park, right? That, that's not a thing. If there's some ground that looks like this and a bouncy castle and a guy being like, get on my bouncy castle, don't get on the fucking bouncy castle, kids. I'm a good influence. I really am. I, uh, <laughs> I changed lives. Well, yeah, I was gonna get on this freaky, weird bouncy castle in the middle of a suburb, but then I thought, no, I'm not gonna. Because tape told me. Because tape is a good teacher. <laughs> I would be a terrible teacher. I'm not a big fan of kids, or people, or other teachers, or schools, or um, the way things are taught, because uh, somehow boring, you know? Maths is actually pretty interesting, but uh, but no, it's not because it's in school, and oh my god. Yeah. But stay with it, because university is way better. And if you do like it, then <laughs> you nerd. No, then that's good. And you'll probably 
be far more successful for me and I'll be, than me, and I'll be working for you, and then your life's fucked because you'll have to, you know, employ me, and that's never a good thing. Um. Yeah. All right. More houses. More industry. More everything. Okay. You know what I really want to play? Titanfall 2. I never played Titanfall 1, but I watched the trailer. Uh, the gameplay trailer at E3. Um, and it actually looks just so fast-paced that I don't believe it. I kind of have to... I'd have to play it and be like, no, this is bullshit. Um... Uh, but I, want, I want to do something more interesting. I've just been zoning and talking about Grand Theft Auto. Maybe something with water. I want to keep this dam here because I like this dam. And it makes my Alcatraz Island bigger. But I did build it, so... That's dark. I forgot about that. That's really dark. <laughs> this is where you'll go. Lift weights. Don't just sit there. You. You. Emma Green. Educated young adult. So, visiting prison. They're just visiting. I don't think they're visiting prison. Kathleen Terry. Robert. You've got an Emma or a Kathleen Robert. Um, is this a multi-gender prison? Or is it like different sides, do you suppose? Although they can walk through the fence. Like a multi-gender prison. Do, uh, you need sex? Alright, whatever the fuck. A, a godless prison. It's, uh, doesn't sound like a great thing. Because, uh, pr prison could, you know, it's not great. Although I have been watching Orange is the New Black. Um, because my girlfriend watches it, so, ipso facto, I watch it. <laughs> no, it's actually really good. Um, I was, I kind of wanted, I kind of expected to hate it, because I expect to hate most things that people like. Um, because I'm a dick. Uh, but yeah, no, it's actually really good. <laughs> uh, accurate summaries of my life. But yeah, it's it's like super good. Anywho. Whoa! That's a lot of cars running perfectly on my perfect traffic system that has no backups anywhere. How the fuck are they? Oh, I see. Yeah, this is in the great system. I shouldn't be in charge of things. Alright, build more shops. Be less of a dick about it. Anyway, I was going to do something with water. Yeah, I want to make a canal. A ca I'm not going to be able to just sit, pronounce that canal. Yeah, that's what you say. Canal place. I want a canal -y place. But I don't know where I want to put it. Huh. Maybe here. Because this is going to get a bit monotonous, really, isn't it? So maybe if I put a bunch of canals in here, um, I can just do some cool thing down here so it breaks up the kind of monotony, I think. That's what I'm going to do. Um, it'll be awesome, because everything is awesome. Everything is cool. And you're part of a fuck. I forgot about there's a mountain there. Fuck. Yeah, didn't think of that. There's a fucking mountain. Right, so not here. See, this side would be fine-ish. No, okay. Yeah, there's a big-ass fucking mountain there. I don't want to level it. Maybe I could just do that here. Yeah, that'll be nice. This'll be monotonous. But that's fine because it's easy and it drives the city and... Yeah, that's fine. Or maybe some canals near, uh... Near God. Near God's house. It's a nice house. Twenty people went there. It's a godless fucking nation. Well, I guess godless city. I don't know about the rest of the nation. I don't even know what nation we're in. I assume America because... It's where everything is. Wow, these are some deep fucking holes. Like, Jesus Christ! I'm gonna canal right through here. You fuck off! Is the canal t is the slope too steep? I'll cut you. <laughs> I may have some unresolved anger for being told I can't put canals places. Reminds me too much of my childhood, where I could never put canals places. Yeah, we're gonna want to do this faster, kiddo. Yeah, this could be uh, too much soil. Ah, fuck you. Where am I going to put the soil? I don't know. Just spread it around, it'll be fine. 
go crazy. Oh my god. Ah, there's so much soil everywhere. Ah, ah. I don't know what noise that is, but I'm sure it's incredibly annoying to hear through headphones. <laughs> Look at the Grand Theft Auto with Vicky video where I was just like, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Fuck headphones users, they're not people. But apparently most people use headphones. Which is weird. That's, that's a moral. Just use... I, I don't know why I hate wearing headphones. It's like... I I don't... I don't want to... I can't hear what's going on. I can't hear the people about to murder me. You know? And there's always people about to murder me. It's very inconvenient. Being constantly, you know, having <laughs> attempts made on your life. It's not great. Um, it's also a lie. Just don't worry, I'm fine. <laughs> no one is trying to murder me. I mean, hopefully. If they are, then they're doing a shitty job, so I wouldn't worry. Just dump it all in the river. Too much soil? Yeah, I was trying to do the other one, wasn't I? Yeah, I'm just gonna dump... I'll dump it all in the lake. No more dumping in the lake. Remember that film? About the Simpsons? Yeah, that was actually pretty good. I enjoyed that. The Simpsons movie. Should make another one. But I... Maybe they shouldn't. Actually, The Simpsons isn't really that funny anymore. The old ones were good. Um, obviously, that's what everyone says. Though. They just did so many series. It's like Family Guy, really. Um, and, oh, and have you guys seen the new American Dads? Because did they change Stan's voice? Because I really don't like it. It sounds a lot kind of like Brian or Stewie or something from Family Guy. And it's like, what the fuck are you doing? He's not Brian or Stewie. And I, yeah, it's really freaky and I don't like it. Oh, fuck you. I'll just put it over here. No, I'm going to dump it in the lake. That's why we should dump everything in the lake. What sort of... What? What? Oh, there's a train. I was wondering what the fuck this was. Should really put some more of those in. Dump it all in the lake. Fuck with the world, because this is already all fucked. And that's fine. Alright. I know, I, before this episode ends, I will get through that hill. I will slice through it. With vigor. Because I need more water in here, really. Might even I would start pumping the water out, but then the water in my canals will be sewage, and that's not great. Um... Yeah, yep, 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 yep. I think I can put a canal in there and have it kind of like a waterfall. Oh, it's already kind of coming through, but I can't see that well because it's nighttime. I'm actually not sure I like um, nighttime in this game, which is pretty bad because I can't turn it off because this is a City Skylines After Dark series. Whoa, what am I doing? Drop it down. Yeah, okay, we don't need a canal. It'll be nicer if it's a river. And we'll just do a little bit of smoothing. Okay, I always press the wrong fucking button. That's not smooth. That's... Oh, shit. Nope, I want to put the soil back. Yeah, that's... Wait, what? Yeah, that's put the soil back. Yeah, that's not smooth. That's level terrain. And it's very aggressive. Alright, let's get all of this land up. Get the water up here. I wanted this button. Yeah. There we go. Gonna fuck up some trees, but trees are bad people, so it's fine. They killed that poor old man in um in uh, Lord of the Rings. Just murdered him in his house. Actually, I don't think they did kill him, but uh, no, they didn't, because um, Gandalf was all like, "Nah." Also, I don't think you can kill him because he's one of the Maiar, right? So he's a child of Eru. Although I guess they're all children of Eru. Uh, yeah, if you don't know what I'm talking about, read the Silmarillion. Which is the backstory to The Lord of the Rings, which is like super detailed. Like, it's almost like. To oh, for fuck's sake! It's almost like Tolkien was a genius, which he was. He was like. He created such a detailed world. He describes, like, pretty much exactly how his gods created the Earth. And it's awesome. Oh, fuck this. Down. I don't want a thing stopping my river getting through. I'm gonna use a smaller one. Cut. You're being kind of a wang. Maybe I should throw a canal in there. Nah, that's cool. It's flowing. I want to raise this water level so I can put some freaking canals in. Because I want some fucking canals. I can't put them in here because it's stupid fucking steep. Back, yeah. Back, yeah. 
Yeah, maybe I can, if I really want. Yo, I can! Oh, good. Good, I'm glad. I'm happy. I'm finally happy. Not that I ever wasn't happy. I'm actually a pretty content person. I just complain a lot, because that makes me even happy. Ah, uh, yeah, that's going to be an issue. <laughs> Shit. I wanted to go right to the end of the earth. Yeah, like that. So it just kind of flows out. That'll be nice. That'll be great. Yes. Go forth, my beautiful water. Into the Valley of Riverage. That's what we'll call it. The Valley of Riverage. Which is very badly carved. And now I can't really see what's going on. Uh, maybe if I try and level it a little more. Not level it, smooth it. And very unaggressively as well. Oh, fuck. Fuck you. Fuck you! Just do some minor adjustments. Come on. Fuck you, water. You don't know. Is it gonna go all the way down there or am I gonna am I gonna have to shape this better? Yeah, I think I might have to shape it better. Alright, yeah, if I have it kind of pointing towards this into oncoming water, it'll flow better. Probably. I don't know much about water dynamics in this game, but you'd expect it would. So if it does this and the water will actually like flow in. See? See what I mean? See what I mean? Yeah, that might not work, because it's a slope, you fucking moron. That's cool. Hmm, well, we'll see. Uh, terrain, though. Oh, I'm just going to put it in a canal. It'll just make it easier. It's a, it's a good thing. Too close to another canal. No, it's not. Fuck you. How is that too close to another ca Oh, I guess sort of. But only like superficially. Yeah, that should go in. But this needs to be slightly lower, I think. No, it was going fine that way, so it should this way. Yeah, it'll be fine. Ugh, terrible. Flow this way. Why can't I command water like I want to? Why am I? Why am I not? Ah, shit. Um, Neptune, god of the sea, Roman god of the sea. Before anyone says anything about Greeks, Greeks don't know shit. I mean, they, yeah, they brought a science, but they don't know shit. If they'd been really smart, they would have already had science. True story. They would have just known stuff. There would have been no gaps in their knowledge. They wouldn't have needed science. Weird argument I hear a lot, you know? In the... The debate which I just... Just have no idea why it exists. The uh, kind of religion versus science debate. And it's just that I they're just such different things. You know? Um, uh, I think this may have been an issue. But yeah, anyway. Uh, and people are like, oh, well, our model... It's not most religious people. I think most religious people are fine, but there are some who are like, well, our model doesn't have any gaps, you know? <laughs> Unlike science, and it's like, yeah, but... Um, that's not necessarily a bad thing, because... Ours has gaps, but the bits that aren't gaps are true. Um... <laughs> yeah, anyway, I don't think I'm going to get this working today. What the devil? I thought it was a plane. I was like, what's going on? Hudson landing level shit up in here. But yeah, I don't think I'm going to get all this working today, but I will. I'll, I want to make this, like, canal -y. I want it to be like, um, like Los Angeles. Um, or Los Santos, the place I've really been. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this. This has been an episode, fucking I don't know at this point, of City Skylines. I will see you next time. Mm -hmm.